Philosophy of Hinduism by Baba Sahib Ambedkar Introduction Philosophy of Hinduism 1. Part 6 In the first place in the religion of the savage society, there is no trace of the idea of God. In the second place in the religion of the savage society, there is no bond between morality and religion. In the savage society, there is religion without God. In the savage society, there is morality, but it is independent of religion. How and when the idea of God became fused in religion, it is not possible to say. It may be that the idea of God had its origin in the worship of the great man in society, the hero, giving rise to theism with its faith in its living God. It may be that the idea of God came into existence as a result of the purely philosophical speculation upon the problem as to who created life, giving rise to deism with its belief in God as architect of the universe. In any case, the idea of God is not integral to religion. How it got fused into religion, it is difficult to explain. With regard to the relation between religion and morality, this much may be safely said. Though the relation between God and religion is not quite integral, the relation between religion and morality is. Both religion and morality are connected with the same elemental facts of human existence, namely life, death, birth and marriage. Religion considerates these life processes which, while morality furnishes rules for their preservation. Religion in considerating the elemental facts and processes of life came to considerate also the rules laid down by society for their preservation. Looked at from this point, it is easily explained why the bond between religion and morality took place. It was more intimate and more natural than the bond between religion and God. But when exactly this fusion between religion and morality took place, it is not easy to say. Be that as it may, the fact remains that the religion of the civilized society differs from that of the savage society into two important features. In civilized society, God comes in the scheme of religion. In civilized society, morality becomes sanctified by religion. This is the first stage in the religious revolution I am speaking of. This religious revolution must not be supposed to have been ended here with the emergence of these two new features in the development of religion. The two ideas having become part of the constitution of the religion of the civilized society have undergone further changes which have revolutionized their meaning and their moral significance. The second stage of the religious revolution marks a very radical change. The contrast is so big that civilized society has become split into two, antique society and modern society, so that instead of speaking of the religion of the civilized society, it becomes necessary to speak of the religion of antique society as against the religion of modern society. The end.